All right, friends. Hi, Doc South here. This might take, uh, this one, yeah, this one might just take a, a couple of takes to do because I'm just going to fire it off as if we were just sitting, you know, driving in the car talking. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, <clears throat> no high production value in this one. At least we're standing still. Okay. Uh, at the, well, as you see at the palatial studio. Uh, here in uh, overlooking the mighty, mighty Muskinacong River. Yes. Uh, I was just thinking, I remember, I, you know, I have no idea how it occurred. Honestly, I don't even know. I can't even begin to think how I met this young lady when I lived down south. Let me think. Nice enough, girl. Um... Uh, maybe it was in Parents Without Partners. I was in, I was in uh, uh, Parents Without Partners uh, for a while. I was, well, I was a parent and had no partner. <laughs> Seemed like it was right to join the club. And actually, it's a good idea. If, you're, uh, if, if that organization is still around it's, uh, and you're recently divorced and you got kids, at least you got people uh, who are uh, in the same boat as you. Right. You know, you, uh, either you've got custody of the kids and, uh, you know, or you're sharing them back and forth with your ex. And, well, it's, it's, a, it's a tough time for a person. It was for me and looks to me like most everyone kind of takes a beating then. But I think, yeah, this girl, I must have uh, run into her that way. I can't think of any other way. I don't recall that she told me, well, she was married she was married, I won't say because, you know, this, yeah, she was married to, but divorced from uh, a member of a fairly popular folk music group. Yes, yes. And um, she actually, she was, I, this, I, I don't mean, I don't mean this bad at all, uh, but she was, uh, I believe she, uh, she worked as a cocktail waitress. Uh, in a topless bar down in uh, near Camp Lejeune, near the <clears throat> near the Marine Corps base down there, and no, I never, no, never, <laughs> nothing, nothing really romantic uh, ever happened. Uh, but she was she was a nice person. We go out now and then, and the uh, no, 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 get your mind out of the gutters. Perfectly nice girl, and uh, no, I never went to her workplace. I just just well, we just didn't. I, I just didn't figure I'd, it'd be quite right. And plus, besides, I was pretty far from Camp Lejeune. Uh, but <laughs> she, uh, but uh, she, nice girl. And uh, I, we'll just call her uh, Mary. Uh, I, that's not her name, I'm sure. Um, I can't even think of it now. Now and then for a while, we, you know, we, we went out on a date or two and uh, eventually, you know, parted company, but... No, not in an angry way. She just went back down to Camp Lejeune to work, I guess. And now and then it'd come up, visit friends. A few laughs, I guess, be the best way to put it. But she, uh, I remember, this is, well, again, I was on a squad at that time, and I was taking all sorts of training. Uh, we'd, uh, you know, like I've often told you, we'd be called, a uh, doctor might see us in a hallway, Hey, you guys got a call right now? Uh, no, sir, we don't. No, doctor. He said, well, come on, I'm doing an operation. Why don't you come take a look? <clears throat> Give you a chance to see where all the organs are. I said, okay. Yeah, we're cutting this guy right up the middle here. and Boy, you'll be able to see everything. I'm thinking, oh, my God, I'm going to lose everything. <laughs> and it, but as it turns out, most of these operations aren't as bloody as you think, at least not the ones I saw. They, they have people that, you know, if there is a cut, uh, they work on it right away. Uh, they don't. They don't mess around. You know, if some some artery gets severed, well, they got a a, a surgeon's assistant. At least back when I saw uh, that, will sew the artery right up. You know, yes, sir, got it, got it, got it. Okay, it's all set. Uh, very good, very good. And you know, and or if there is blood, they can they can uh, pinch uh, pinch off the artery or the vein, and you know, they if they have to for the moment. It works out that it's actually get a pretty good view of the uh, working organs. And I got to say, seeing a person's beating heart is, is kind of good. Uh, it, the, the trouble is, is if it were to stop beating, that's what's ugly. Right. Okay. And um, in fact, I remember 
we were um, we were uh, well. Uh, my my coworkers and I were uh, watching an operation. I think they were repairing. Uh, it it's a kind of air. It's an area. It's a what happens? The esophagus gets pulled up through the diaphragm. It goes through a hole in the diaphragm, like a like a pipe coming out of a ceiling. Okay, and sometimes it gets yanked, and it winds up getting. It goes through the hole, and I believe a, a little bit of the stomach stays above the diaphragm. I might be wrong, but I think that's called a hiatal hernia. And it's painful because you get stomach acid all pinched in. It doesn't go away. Yeah, you get kind of that bleh, kind of feeling, and uh, it's got to be fixed. Okay. So, um, so the, again, and and to, at least back then, maybe now they do it mac, you know, uh, what do you call it, macroscopically, uh, just put in a few tubes and and you know and little cameras on the end and do it that way, uh, but back then they they opened you up all like, like that. Yeah, I mean here your belly, yeah, <laughs> it's all pulled back, guys. You can see the lungs and the and the uh, the heart beating and I, what happened. The surgeon kind of knocked the guy's heart with his hand or an instrument, and the heart went into flutter. It went like that, and you know what? The, I thought, gosh, they're going to be calling in the, you know, the, um, the, gosh, the uh, the, the trauma cart or whatever. They're going to uh, cardiac cart. Give the guy, blah, you know, you know what the what the surgeon did? He just looked at the heart. Say, this is the heart going like this. He went easy. Easy, easy now. And pretty soon the heart's back like that. Yeah. And there were other things in the operation. But, you know, that's, yeah, that's what he did. Now, I don't know if that's what they do now, but that's what he did. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm looking at the heart and I yeah, get a hug it uh -huh, Yeah, ventricle, auricles, aorta. Yeah, okay. Got it, got it. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, you know, we went, went on, we got a call we had to run and go get someone, someone evidently, I don't know, you know, just some kind of accident, hit a pole, let's say. And, uh, but anyway, so on that, and of course the whole time watching the operation, I'm thinking, gee, that girl's coming up, uh, Mary's coming up this weekend. I'm going to, going to call her down at Camp Lejeune, see if she wants to, uh, we'll go, we'll go out to eat. And so uh, I call her. She says, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll go out with you. Hey, she says, can I go play pool at the squad hall? I said, yeah, sure, except the guys are kind of broke. She says, that's all right. She says, <laughs> I'll make them even broker. She, yeah, she was an expert pool player. Oh, yeah. The guys thought they were going to beat her. They put a little money on the game and everything. Yeah, she took it all. Took it all. Oh, my God. She, they were all the... I don't play pool. Uh, I mean, I'll try, but it's not. Yeah, she. Oh, yeah, she. Mary ripped him a new one. Is <laughs> pretty much <laughs> when when she left uh, the squad hall that one night uh, a week or two back. They were yeah, they're going like this on their wallets, trying to calm the wallet down. <laughs> so that wallet got hit hard. But anyway, so we go to this Chinese restaurant. I say, hey, there's one just down south of town. Uh, you may have passed it on your way up here. She says, oh, I did see it. Yeah, down near, uh, I think she says, down near Lucama, isn't it? I said, I think it is. And again, this is, what, darn near 35 years ago now, maybe longer. I doubt it's there still. But she, uh, certainly not the same management. But she says, yeah, we'll go there. What do you say? I said, sure. So we go Saturday. We, uh, I, I pick her up uh, where she was staying and, we go and uh, we're sitting in the, um, sitting there, you know, we ordered, a, you know, I don't know, they had, th I think we had a beer or two. We had some beer and then, uh, well, you know, the usual, the the uh, egg roll and uh, oh, maybe some sesame noodles. And and then I, I don't know, I said, well, so what are you getting? She said, well, I'm, she, I'm the usual Southern fare. She says, I'll have chicken chow mein. I said, I'll have the, um, gee, I'll have the, um, it's the, uh, Pepper steak. I'll have that. You cut it real thin and everything, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's good. I said, well, okay, I'll have that. So we're sitting there, small talking, yakking back and forth. She's telling me about what it was like to be uh, married to a actually a guy who had an, a number one hit or his group. 
I, I don't dare say the group, but yeah, yeah. And uh, so, uh, yeah, we're, the meal comes and uh, we're sitting down. She's eating, you know, gorfing down her, um, her what do you call it, her, um, her chicken chow mein. Me, I, well, we had our wonton soup and all that. And I'm cutting, I'm cutting at the, um, at the uh, meat. It looked like rather big pieces, but I, I, yeah, I thought the guy was going to slice it. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm talking to her and cutting. And uh, throw it, yeah. And I'm thinking, God, this meat's chewy. God, like, and I said, what the heck? I finally I get a bite down. Go go to cut another one. I'm still looking at her talking, and again, chewy as can be. So finally, I said, well, my God, I got to look at this. And I look, and I said, Oh my God, oh my God, that's not that. That is not, that's not flank steak. No. I said, oh my heavens. And I look, I move the, uh, what, you know, the sesame noodles and the, uh, and the, the little hunks of onion and the pepper away to one side. And I'm looking. I said, oh my God, that's a cow's heart. It's a heart. I could see the ventricles. Yeah. And the, uh, the uh, yeah, the, uh, oh gosh. I Oh, it's oh my God, and I've got it still in my mouth, um, hmm. and I'm thinking, I can't spit it out in front of her. I mean, I'll ruin the whole night. I just go, you know. Uh. <laughs> she, so I got, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm chewing, thinking, oh my God, oh my God, oh, you know, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> She said, what, is your meat too tough for her size? I said, God, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I'm kind of full, though. I'm just going to eat the vegetables and the rice. If you, I said, yeah, she said, sure, whatever. Yeah, whatever floats your boat. You going to get it to go? I said, yeah, I think I will. <laughs> so I was going to take it back to the squad hall and see what the guys thought. And uh, then all of a sudden it hit me, my God, what if it's a human heart? It's about the right size. It's, it's, oh my God. And then again, maybe it's a pig heart. I, it's a heart. That's all there is to it. Oh man. And um, yeah, well, if it was, I guess you would, if it, if it was out of a cow, I guess it could be uh, pepper steak, right? I mean, it's a, the heart's a muscle. It's just, oh, it's so tough. If they cut it a little thinner and sauteed it a while, you know? Oh, so... Yeah, that was my uh, that was my big date, and then after that, we uh, I uh, I drove her up to the squad hall, and she uh, you know cleaned house with the uh, with the guys, and <laughs> they, <laughs> they didn't know what to do. God, she was good at pool. Yeah, me, I was sitting there, I was eating. He says, well, you didn't eat much for supper. I said, well, I, you know, just happy talking with you and all that. I said. And she says, well, look, she says, well, would you take my chicken chow mein? I noticed you didn't even take your pepper steak. Was it good? I said, oh, yeah, it was nice and beefy. I just, you know. So well, here she says, I, where I'm staying, you know, the, if, number one, everyone else is going to want some, and you may as well have it. I said, well, okay, I'll take it. Of course, I ate that when I got home. Of course, I looked it over real good. I can tell you that. Anyway, so... Other than that, I've never had a bad meal at a Chinese restaurant. In fact, I've always had good ones. And actually, once I got used to the idea, though, if you cut it real thin, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it still was tough. If you had just, you know, maybe boiled it a little or something, it might have been a little better. But, uh, and, uh, um, uh, <laughs> any case, I forget what the fortune cookie said. Yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, sucker, I something I don't know, something probably something like that. Uh, but in any case, there you go. We'll see you later. Um, again, yeah, uh, uh, just a, a torrid romance there in the in the uh, <laughs> in the good old Carolinas, the Tar Heel State. Yes. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye now.